Uh, good afternoon, Professor Ji. Uh, how are you, sir? I am fine. Uh, your video. Any problem in network? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, yes. Uh, now, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, he is uh, Professor Manoj Verma. He is uh, Deputy Director of HRDC and Professor in Department of Library Science. Okay, uh, very he, nice. Very nice he, to see you. He is coordinator of this course. Okay. I am I'm co-coordinator. He is coordinator. Okay, very good. Very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, sir. Very happy to see so, you, sir. In yeah. Our program. So I, I, I was there in 2007 in Mizoram University. Yes. Oh, For a very bad. short period. For a very short period, he joined our university. Uh, oh. Maybe for six months or so, sir. How much? Yes, yes. Only six months I was there. Six oh. months only. One semester. <laughs> he came from Assam University, Silchar, right, sir? Or yes, Kashmir? Absolutely. Mm. Before that, you were in, you know? Uh, before that, uh, I was in Nagaland. Nagaland, yes. Mm. And uh, he is right now, so dear participants, today we are having Professor Tomba Singh Ji. He is... Uh, now head of the Department of Commerce in Manipur University. He's a senior faculty. His uh, expertise is research methodology. When he talks, he talks number. When he speaks, he speaks statistics. And whatever he does, he does with very methodological way. So a perfect man for research methodology. And the topic we decided for him is uh, hypothesis testing in research. So a perfect man to speak on research <laughs> methodology. So, uh, thank sir, you, thank you, you, may... thank you, Professor Ji. <laughs> <I am> not... <laughs> uh, we 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 all are learning learning stays. Yes, yes, yes. That that is very true, sir. We all are here in this forum. All are teachers only. Yeah, we all are. Mm. Yes. So we all are learning. Teacher is a person who keeps on learning. Uh, Professor Ji, I. Uh, yes. pro, uh, uh, Professor Manoj and yes. Professor Batindu is my good friend. And actually, uh, you know, for the uh, very recently means hardly one month back, uh, I was, you know, the shifted, you know, my institute to uh, Manipur University to, you know, the NIT. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That I don't uh, know, sir. Uh, National Institute of, you know, Technology Manipur. Okay, so okay. for the you know uh, the they have given me the some assignments and that's why I came here as a register. So which department there? Register. No, no, that's uh, NIT. 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 Okay. NIT. NIT Manipur. Okay, okay. So it's but, my it's my uh, a new assignment. Uh, very recently, means only one month back only. Okay, uh, okay. So it's okay. a you know it's a kind of you know the challenge for me actually. Okay, okay. So there must be some department, eh, sir? Yes, yes. We have the management. We have the all, and uh, I'm going to uh, take some classes also here. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's a so life because as you know, you know, I my actually, it's a my uh, you know the it's my nature and hobby also. I I keep on you know changing you no know, in institute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never remained, you know, the statics. So, okay. please. But 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 your friendships are very static, sir. <laughs> <laughs> your associations with the old colleagues are very static. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is absolutely. absolutely. Continue with that, sir. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, please. Okay, so, sir, uh, Manojji, if you want to say anything, or, sir, it may start. I think, sir, we, we can start now. Because okay. if sir will finish, then early sir will also charge up his time. Maybe some more. We will start directly. Okay. Uh. Okay, sir. So you may start. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. Chira. Chira. Okay. Ay, okay. Sir, could you see? Yes, yes, yes. Moving also. 
Mizoram University and my friend Professor Batindu. It's a, I should say it's a very grateful to me to give such a opportunity to interact with faculty members of the all over the country and uh, respected uh, the program coordinator. Professor Manoji. So today I would like to discuss with one topic that is a hypothesis, you know, the testing in research. So this topic is not so new, uh, all of us, because we all are, you know, applying the hypothesis in our research when we are writing even a, the paper. So the hypothesis is uh, uh, obviously is a very, very much, you know, the uh, important part of the research, the procedure. So exactly what is the hypothesis? So now, uh, see, hypothesis is actually, is a combination of the two words, the hypo plus the thesis. So hypo means is a tentative or subject to the verification. Very good uh, line. Tentative or subject to the verification. The thesis means what we knew what is a thesis? Yeah, thesis means we have seen in the rack, in the, the library, and even, you know, some others, even the department's rack also, we have seen, you know, the thesis written by, uh, you know, the individuals and submitted to the university. After that thesis, we call the doctorate degree. So that, that thesis actually, what is the meaning of that thesis? is a statement about solution of the problem. The statement about solution of the problem. Now, the why hypothesis is so important in the research. Actually, this is not important, means knowingly or unknowingly, we are use this. Hypothesis. So now hypothesis mean a tentative statement about the solution of the problem. Say we can take, you know, the sovereign, the example. Now there is a, now the population parameters and a sample statistics. Now, see, hypothesis means that means based on you know the population. Say one statement we can say that there is no relationship between class attendant and the marks. So there is a, you know the relationship between the two. So now what we want, you want to reject that statement or you want to retain that statement. Exactly that is a, uh, you know, that is a hypothesis actually. We assume that, we, we assume that means there is no significant relationship between the attendant of class and the, the mark secure. The wider you are going to be, accepted or rejected about that statement, 
So how to develop about that, you know, the hypothesis? The research is about, you know, the hypothesis actually. It's in every research is having the hypothesis. Another word, we, you can say that hypothesis, uh, you know, the, it's an intellectual guess. Or hypothesis is, you know, the presumed, uh, you know, is, is an assumption. What is the idea? Is a theory. That theory might be true or the, that theory might be rejected. So that is uh, the base on that, you know, the population parameters and the simple statics. Simple statistics. Now, so now uh, let us clear this concept actually. So now please. So hypothesis means a tentative statements about the solution of the problem. The solution of the problem. Hypothesis testing is an educated guess to detect significant difference by the sample statistics with population parameters. My dear friend, now there is a two terms. These two terms are very, very much important in, uh, uh, you know, it's a very, very important for the research scholars, for the researchers. Now the population parameters, you know, what is exactly, you know, the population, you know, the parameters. Now let me take, you know, one example. Let me take one example, say, for the, for the children watching TV example, in a day is a three hours. Children watching TV in a day is a three hours. Okay. Now the three hours means what? This is actually uh, the average we can use the word average. Children watching TV average in a day is three hours. That is the example. So now that means, well, in this case means now, the children may be the more than three hours, or the less than three hours, or equal to three hours also. And now here we can put not equal to three hours. That means more than less than. How do we know that? So now that means here mean population parameter is a three hours, average three hour in a, uh, in a day. But it, this is, you know, the, uh, your, uh, you know, the, this is, uh, your, you know, the guess. Why do you want to? Why do you want to see that statement is wrong? All right. So in that case, mean what we, what we have to do it is a population. Then after the sample size, we have to, you know, the sample size with the help of the, uh, you know, uh, determination of sample size, that method, okay? Then, you know, then we have to select the sample size and how many generals you have selected from Mizoram or how much children you have selected from India. The base on that will collect uh, information and then we'll calculate it. And then we can find, you know, the difference. So that means, Three hours, average three hours may be less than or more than, that means we can write it, you know, not equal to three. Clear, my dear, my dear friend, anything? So now, here means that these two terms are very, very much important. Population parameters, that is a average three hours is a population parameters. And the sample statistics, the base on the sample size, based on the sample size, we, uh, you know, uh, uh, researchers should the calculate, researchers should, you know, the determine. So the compare this between these two population parameters 
and the sample statistics and we can i uh, you know we can find there is a different if equal that means uh, you know it uh, will be rejecting or accepting question come so now uh, this is a, a very very simple the concept i hope everybody understand now there may be uh, you know uh, uh, might be from you know social uh, social sciences then you know the pure uh, you know uh, mathematical sciences and some might be from the humanity also but even those this is very very you know the simple you know the logic everybody can understand now the next sentence also i have uh, written like this it is a statement about one or more population it is usually concerned with the parameters of the population that what i told you this is actually parameter of the population so that means now uh, we heard uh, see the you know we heard about you know the uh, see uh, you know the sangai festival is in even in manipur now the one festival is going on in manipur and you can say that even india our economics uh you know the growth is very very you know it's a very very progressive right and our economic growth is you know good very excellent there is a, you know the uh, the parameters you know this is the parameters uh you know population parameters you want to you want to accept or reject you want to accept or you want to agree or not the i think the blindly we cannot say that and there are there should be some you know the evidence and we have to calculate the you know the uh, you know data uh, from the individual now here means one example i want to discuss look at uh, please my dear friend the hospital administrator may want to test the hypothesis that the average the average length of stay of hospital uh, patient admitted in the hospital is 5 days in the mizoram you know the government hospital or the private hospital and this is you know the one uh, you know the one statement now please look at here then how many you know the, the five days average five day is the population you know this is a population parameters why did this statement is why did this hospital administrator statement is correct or not that is a you know that is the, that is what we want to do the research are you are we going to accept that statement are we going to reject about the statement and simply we cannot accepting or rejecting there is some some sort of you know justification you know some statistical you know the analysis is very much important and for that we have to do so now here is uh, you know this is a statement so uh, this example from here now the the five days is a population parameters and the statistics exactly this is you know happening or not we don't know this is the uh, that is actually this is the idea and this is statements given by the hospital administrators now uh, i hope everybody clear now please hello now the another very important uh, you know the the line here actually i want to discuss here hypothesis testing is using to infer the reason of hypothesis performed on sample data from the last population this is what uh, actually this hypothesis is uh, why this hypothesis important means now in the population is very you know and the very large and it's a uh, in inaccessible also right so the population is very large is uh, you know uh, you know sometime is inaccessible also the instead of covering the large population large population okay we can we can select some sample size and out of that we can you know the researcher can draw a you know the conclusion so kon tawjit a thamun 
so that's why uh, you know uh, this is very very you know the the crucial uh, you know the task of the you know researcher so hypothesis testing or significance is a hypothesis testing or the significant testing is a method for testing a claim or hypothesis about a parameters in a population using a data measure in a samples i have already explained my dear friend in the likelihood depth as sample statistics could have been selected if the hypothesis regarding the population parameters were true now here in in a hypothesis you know the testing actually in a uh, in a hypothesis testing uh, we use uh, you know the one or the branch of you know the statistics the commonly statistics you know uh, in a subject uh, the statistics subject is a composite of you know the two one is a descriptive statistics another one is a inferential statistics that what i think the uh, i think the i think we all you know the news all this thing. maximum you know the scholars news about that but statistics is everywhere without statistics is very difficult to you know derive in the conclusions especially for the social sciences even the science also even some subject like you know botany and all that they also use this you know the the statistics now we use inferential statistics because it allowed us to measure behavior in the samples see now the sample is from the population i think how we are selected the sample size how we are select individuals the unit from the population is you know uh, from the you know how to determine about you know the sample size and we can talk in one class also in one hour and two hours about the determination of sample size let us consider we knows that we have the sample size we we know the samples so now uh, example to learn more about the behavior in the population that are awful to large and in uh, inaccessible we use sample because we know how they are related to population and yes we know the the sample is you know the sample is from the the population only sample size is from the population the sample size and the population is not a different it's a it's a only one and we cannot we cannot cover the whole population and that's why we have determined some you know some uh, sub uh, you know some uh, you know some part only we cover now uh, yes this the method in which we select a sample to learn more about characteristic in a given population is called a hypothesis testing hypothesis is a really systematic way to test claim or idea about the group or the you know the uh, the population is a testing about what we claim that you see that we 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 claim that now the present government is performing well and we claim that the mizoram university is doing well when we compare to the in the regions we claim that so that that claim actually uh, how much it is the truth or not this is actually there is a hypothesis testing now yes uh, i have uh, already uh, you know the given uh, uh, you know the maximum Uh, explanation now here so please for instance if you predict that student who drink milk before class perform better than those who do not then this become as a hypothesis that can be confirmed or refuted using and the experiment so now i think we we news actually what exactly hypothesis hypothesis is you know the relationship between or among the the variables like means see who drink milk before the class perform better than those who do not so that means that is there is two parameters one is drinking milk milk before class another one is not so that is a statements another one is see regular attending class 
and the securing marks. These are the two, you know, the variables and the, uh, we want to say that there is no relationship between attendant class and the secure marks. And you can also say that there is no relationship between drinking milk before class perform and uh, uh, before class and performance. So now these are the exactly, these are what I want to you know, explain, I want to discuss with you. This is actually, you know, uh, uh, you know, the hypothesis. Now, see in the hypothesis, you know, in the research actually, we use in the research, we use in research, hello? Is it audible? Hello? Professor Manoji? Hello? Sir, you are audible, sir. Okay, please. So everybody keep quiet. So I thought that this is not <laughs> okay. Now, yes, I have, uh, you know, we have already understood what is the hypothesis we, we understood and why we apply this hypothesis in the research also. Little bit I have explained it. Now in the research, it might be social sciences, or it might be mathematical, physical sciences, or the humanities, or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The level of measurement for the variables, there are only four level of measurements of the variables. The first one is we call this the nominal data. That means yes or no or dichotomous. Nominal nature. And another one is ordinance. No equal class intervention. Another one is Intervent, equal, equals interval. Another one is a ratio. We can calculate, we can count like that. So now these are the four variables. These are the, we call this is the newer nominal. Nominal data, you can say that. Ordinate data, or intervent data, or ratio data. Now again, nominal and ordinance we call it the parametric data. In the statistics, we in the statistics there are two types of data. One is a non-parametics or the parametics. So now in the non-parameters, that means nominal and ordinance. Example, yes or no, red, blue. Okay, these are the, the nominal. And the ordinal means, you know, the ranking. Like, you know, about in beautiful, right? Even the five-star hotels, three-star hotel, like that. There is an ordinance. Ordinance in the interval is, you know, uh, you know, some scholar use, you know, the similar synonymously also, and some use, uh, you know, this thing also. Now, interven is, you know, it's uh, the class because uh, like uh, you can say that, you know, uh, uh, so it's uh, the another types of uh, Likert scale we call. And another one, a ratio means, Two percent, twenty-five years old, you know something like that. This is the one. So this is the parameters. So now uh, parametric data and non-parametric data, my dear friend. Now in the research, it's very much important. Now the research, what we I have discussed about, you know the parametric and the non-parametics or 
population parameters and the static, uh, sample statistics. Now the population parameter is already is already there, is already there, and the sample statistics we have to calculate. Now we have to calculate. Now how to calculate it? I think I think where to get this information. There are two. One is a primary and a secondary. Secondary is already available. In the secondary, you know the second hand, you know the information, and the primaries are, uh, you know, the basically primaries actually we have, uh, you know, through questionnaires, through telephonic talks, and the observation, this, 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 and that. Now here, in the results, what we did. Have the you know the objective. These objectives are based on the statement of the problems of the studies, the statement of the problems. So that is the introduction part. Then the objective, research methodology, one, the research design, actually what we did. The objective. Now these objectives are based on the our the problems, the statement of the problem. Now this, the problems comes, we know the problems the, because our main intention is, you know, to solve this problem, to attend that, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the problem. That's why we set an objective. We set an objective very, you know, very systematic way we set a, you know, the objective. We set an objective. So there, I think how many objectives will be there? It depends on the resources and the guides, supervisors. The normally we used to have, you know, uh, four or five, you know, objectives. Somebody may have more, but the normally in the standard, uh, uh, in the form, the four and five objectives are there. Now, these objectives are very, very important. To achieve this, you know, the objective, then we prepare, we have developed, we frame the hypothesis. We frame the hypothesis. An objective and hypothesis very much, you know, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a related. Hypothesis, you frame the hypothesis is based on your objective. Look, now that, uh, that, that objective, how do we get that objective? Based on non-parametric data or the based on parametric data? As a research scholars, we have to understand. Because that is my research. That is what I'm doing. So I have to understand. How can I, how can I accept that my objective number one? Which data I'm, I'm going to have? Nominant, ordinance, intervent, or ratio? Is it depend on the objective? But accordingly, researchers should frame a the hypothesis. Now, so now, uh, yes, uh, parametrics or non parametrics, the statistical tools, appropriate statistical tools, tools are different. You cannot, like, even, you know, the uh, especially, you know, the Mizoram, yes, I was there, and we have different dresses. We have different, you know, the uh, dress codes for the different occasions. And likewise, here also, nominant, where to apply it, I think where to apply non parametrics and where to apply parametrics. Okay, now I'm come to that. So now, my dear friend, so this, this portion is actually very much important. Now you can see that now, ah, yes, we have already intervened, ratio. Now objective, I have all, there are four objective or five objective. And how many hypotheses will be there? It's up to the researchers. Normally you can have four objective, uh, more than, uh, you know, the uh, many hypotheses you can put there. So now, the beauty of this, you know, the hypothesis testing is 
So now all hypotheses frame based on the based on the the objective. And my dear friend, now the the objective number one. There are, I have seen uh, you know some thesis. There's no correlation actually sometimes. The objective number one, I think where is in your thesis, objective number one? Objective number two, where is? Object number three, where is? So that's why the objective one, the objective number one, that should be somewhere else in the chapters. Chapter might be chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Normally we put in the chapter one, objective two, we put it normally like that, you know? So now it has to be, you know, the, you know, related. Synchronization is very, very much important for the good researchers, for the good research. It should be reflected very clearly. Now, let me, uh, this is, you know, blah, blah. Actually, you can get also, you know, from the, uh, any textbooks also. And uh, this is the characteristic of, the, you know, the good, uh, you know, the hypothesis actually. And I don't want to read out it. And uh, you can understand this is uh, to help you formulate a promising research hypothesis. And uh, you should ask yourself the, the following question. Is the language clear and focused? Yes, I'm, I'm coming in my next slide. Is the language clear and focused? That means always, you know, how to, I think how to state it, how to state that, you know, hypothesis. There are, uh, some the commonly used and always we you see in the uh, in the hypothesis actually there are two uh, types of hypothesis there I'm, I'm coming back now what is the relationship between your hypothesis and your research topic this is what I have always shared with you and your hypothesis is not based on the, the objective and objective is based on the your statement of the problems so these are you know very much you know related sequence there is a sequence. Is your hypothesis testable? Yes. And always when we, it should be testable actually. So that is we call it a, you know, the inferential statistics or testable, you know, the, stat, uh, you know, the, uh, the statistics. So is your hypothesis the testable? Say for example, attendant in the class and the securing marks. Attendant in the class and the the result you can say that. Why that these two are, you know, relate, uh, you know, uh, see related or not, the test able or not. If yes, then how? What are the possible exp uh, explanation that you might want to explore? Does your hypothesis include both independent or dependent variables? Yes. Hypothesis, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a independent or dependent. That too. Can you manipulate your variable without hampering the ethical standards? Yes, sometimes. Uh, yes. Now, uh, here is what are the stages of hypothesis testing? My dear friends, This is a very, very important for the scholars like you and uh, me. What are, these, what are these stages of hypothesis testing? What are these stages of hypothesis, you know, the testing? Now, please, to successfully confirm or uh, repeat it, and assumptions, the researcher go through five stages of hypothesis testing. Number one is determine the non hypothesis. Now we are coming to the our real, you know, the subject. Now we are coming to the, our real, you know, the subject. Please, everybody, determine the non hypothesis. 
What is a non hypothesis? Anyone else from the you know the audience on the participant? What is a non hypothesis? Please. Hello. Hello. Uh, sir. Mm. Please. What is the non hypothesis? Please. Uh, actually, sir, the participants they are in webinar mode. They are not able to interact. In the message they are putting, hypothesis have no difference. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm 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 coming. Okay, please. Now determine the you know the non hypothesis actually. This is the first step for the to to understand about you know the researchers. So now uh, here means non hypothesis means suppose you see uh, I have already uh, you know non hypothesis means is a population actually what we presume. Is an intellectual, you know, the guess. That means is a statement about a population parameters, such a population mean that is assumed to be truth. We, you know, is assumed to be truth. So now the non hypothesis is a starting point. See, now a premises or the claim that we want to test. None hypothesis uh, is, uh, you know, represent as a high not. I'm coming. So then we currently accepted value for the population, please. Now the none hypothesis means currently accepted value for a population. Say example, I'm repeating again. Children watching TV in Mizoram is three in Mizoram is three hour in ever three three hours per week. That is we assume that is a you know that is a uh, that is right, but in the non, uh, this is actually uh, you know this is uh, this is what we call a non hypothesis. Another one is non hypothesis. Actually, non hypothesis me is a pre. There is no significance. You know, when we are stated means there is no significant relationship between that two the variables. That means these two variables are separate entities no difference and that's why we put in the when we are writing about in statistical you know the uh, you know the way that means high snot is to mu is equal to zero that means no relation these two are not a relationship there is this they are the separate they are independent actually we, we used to state it and some, you know, uh, you can say that now uh, Indian economics is now uh, the improving. This is not relation with the, the present government. That means present government and the economic growth is a different entities. They are independent. The another one is specific, specify the alternative, you know, the hypothesis. So, uh, you know, uh, this is represented as a high A also called as a research hypothesis, especially in the South, you know, uh, for the thesis, you know, uh, they used to put, you know, research hypothesis. So this research hypothesis means is a, uh, you know, the research hypothesis mean alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis means it's a, you know, it's a, uh, in, it's a, you know, the opposite to that. Then after that, Number three, set the significance level, then calculate the statistics. Significant level means whether it will be the 5% or 1%, but in the social sciences, we use at a 5% level of significance. The calculated test statistics, I told you, there are non parametrics or parametrics. And if your hypothesis is, your hypothesis is, be, is, a, is a hypothesis is, uh, depend on the you know non parameters 
then you have to apply the non parametrics you know the uh, you know the uh, you know the uh, the the text select you know the selection like nominants you know the see the nominants you know the uh, nominant variable means right so uh, is a one set of score uh, we we applied for the chi square and related to set we we applied about the nightmare test and the independent two set independent two set you know we applied you know the chi square test for association and the more than two set the chi square goodness for fit so this is what we even the ordinance even the ordinance also there are some you know the tests like you know the experiments and uh, like you see the uh, even you know the related two sets we applied about the uh, you know the weak sick calls match pair singles and rank tests like that and even the independent two set we applied about the you know the men with me you know the eu tests and the modern two set we we use about the you know the crucian valley test like that so and even intervene and ratio we about we use about the correlation test and the regression multiple correlation and especially for the single sample means we apply about the t test okay and uh, you know independent t test and the one way anova okay and uh, you should the factor analysis factorial you know anova independent and the multivariate anova you know these are the you know the uh, you know the many you know the techniques are available actually and that's why uh, you know the calculate uh, you know the test statistics and the corresponding you know the p values and then drawn to the the conclusion now these steps are you know very much important for the researchers to understand about you know is a research actually and without this uh, you know the step and uh, we cannot pursue and we cannot complete about you know the, our research and my dear friend as a researchers we have to aware about that you say research is what we we call research is a is a combination two word re mean again again search means to find out something something new and you know to develop a to to find out you know the fag and figures and to develop you know new models so uh, that is a research research is a movement from known to unknown right and that's why and the quality research actually we are already accepted about this profession and then we have to and we have to and we have to uh, you know the we have to uh, you know uh, we have to surrender and we have to accept it and research is you know such a very very you know the important and is very very you know the uh, difficult is also sometimes and that's why and research methodology is a must and we have to understand and it should be in our finger you know the print uh, finger you know tip we have to you know then conclusion you know uh, draw a conclusion this is what then if you follow it, if you understand about you know the, the hypothesis testing now your 90% of your research is over this is what actually in in my you know the experience in the uh, you know the 20 uh, 20 years of my teaching experience actually now uh, then after that let us come the you know the there are different types of you know the hypothesis actually i don't want to types of hypothesis i don't want to go this thing and uh, everybody is also aware actually uh, i i'm just you know time may not permit us actually i am now here just now i have uh, you know the given the types of hypothesis you know that so now uh, this is i'm not now the hypothesis you know the, the this place this is very very you know the important the hypothesis the two hypothesis hypothesis are called as a non hypothesis non is means a claim of no difference i i have already pronounced means none so it's a, a no difference okay the non hypothesis no different is independent these two variables are independent they are totally independent nothing to do and the parents income and the expenditures and the parents income and the expenditures of their children and the class attendant and the mark secure 
like that and we can you know we we can we can develop several uncountable you know number of you know hypotheses we can develop uncountable number of hypotheses but we we always we have to write in a non hypothesis mean no different between no different there is no statistical uh, significant between attendance of class and the sequencing of marks and this is represented as a high snot that means non hypothesis the another is we call this is a high one or high a is alternative or research hypothesis the alternative hypothesis is a claim is a different in the population in the difference there is a difference between say for example let us recall in our you know the uh, you know the example see one example we can uh, you know the see keep in mind that only reason we are testing the hypothesis because we think it is wrong we think it is wrong okay so now we said that we think is wrong about the non hypothesis is in a alternative hypothesis okay that's why uh, you know that's why you know uh, the children watching tv that example we may have reason to believe that children watch more than or less than 3 hours tv per day then when we are uncertain of the direction we can say that value in non hypothesis is not equal to not equal to 3 hours now one example is uh, another you know very good example we frequently you know came across in our statistic textbooks and research methodology in a court room since the defendant is assumed to be innocent please please in a court room since the defendant is assumed to be innocent this is a non hypothesis so to speak right but now defendant is assumed to be innocent he may not be uh, you know the innocent he may be guilty also now here alternative hypothesis means is a uh, is a statement that directly contradicts an non hypothesis by stating that actual value of population parameters is less than or more than or uh, greater than or not equal to value stated in the non hypothesis now please the beauty of that means is a contradict section is a contradict maybe uh, less than or more than or not equal to so that means the alternative hypothesis state that we think is wrong about an hypothesis and which is needed so now alternative hypothesis mean there is a relationship between there is a relationship between attendant class and the mark secure there is a relationship between how do we know that how do we know that but in the research this statement may not be shown in the humanities subjects even in the social sciences also this statement may not be written in the you know uh in in the thesis but even those somewhere else it means now please so please uh in a hypothesis there are two one is a non hypothesis that means no because it no difference no different means is a different no difference is the same but now here we are accepting or rejecting if you are accepting then what you are accepting means non hypothesis means no different is it no different means no different another one is there is a different there is a difference that what is the difference attendance in the class and the securing in the marks this is related so now please another one is i have already mentioned also 
hypothesis testing, uh, you know, they start the creating non hypothesis and which stand as the assumption that certain statement is a fall or the, yes, certain statement is a fall. Non hypothesis currently accept the value of the population. Currently accept the value of the population. We are accepting right now. We are accepting right now. We are accepting right now. Is it denoted? Is a high snot? That means that there is no different, there is no significant difference. And uh, once you know the variable for the non-hypothesis, the next step is to determine the alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis counter the non-assumption by suggesting the statements or assertion is a truth. Depend on the purpose of the your research, the alternative hypothesis can be one-sided or two-sided. So, uh, you know, yes. So it denoted as a high A or high one, and uh, high A is always contradicts the high not, and challenge the status quo. And the one example, uh, you know, the we can uh, we can tag up, you know, the one example. Here is I given the you know one example. It is believed that the candy machine makes chocolate bar that are on average five gram. A worker claimed that the machine after maintenance no longer make five gram bar. Very good, you know, uh, the example now here, uh, uh, you know, we can see this example. Now I think how to develop about, you know, the, uh, you know, this might be the, you know, the finding of the, you know, the research. This, you know, uh, this, uh, this line, there are three lines, you know, it might be the finding of the, you know, the, you know, the one research conducted by the, uh, you know, researchers. So that means it is believed that the candy machine makes chocolate bar that are on average five gram. The worker claimed that the machine after maintenance no longer make five gram. So this is the, uh, you know, the five gram is actually, this is the population parameters. And how do we calculate it? And, uh, you know, in the mathematically, statistically, we can write it like this. So there is no, you know, that means, uh, you know, the candy, you know, before repairing, before repairing or after repairing means there is, uh, there is no different. There's no impact actually. You know, pre and the post, no, no, you know, no effect. The another one is says me in alternative me, yes, there is a different. There is a significant difference. When the candy machine, uh, candy, you know, the machine make chocolate after repair, uh, after maintenance, after repairing, there is a, you know, the massive, you know, changes. So these two are a statement, how do we, and the candy machines. So the candy machine means now how to get this information. And that now the time, uh, time frame is also very much important. How many candy machines you are going to be, you know, selected and the whole population, how many candy machines, you know, produce in a particular, you know, the company, particular period of time. It's a huge, you know, the, uh, you know, the lease, but, that is a responsibility of the you know resources, and we have to we have to come down to you know some uh, selected numbers with the help of the you know the sample size you know uh, determination of sample size. Then you have to collect the information before and after, before and after. So this kind of this is before and after means this is the uh, you know this is a, a ratio data. This is ratio data. Now ratio data means now you can calculate it. This is a parameter. This is a parameter. Now in this parameter, now here, how do we calculate? Now, this is the t-test actually. Now t-test t, uh, t can be, you know, the uh, t-test can be, you know, undertaken because it's a compare between the two variables because before and after, normally before and after we use about the t-test. And in a statistic is the large sample size and the small sample size, but in the softwares, like, you know, uh, IBM statistics, you know, the, in the softwares, because there's no Z test, there's only T test only. Now T test can be done it. Now the, now the T test can, 
say that there is a yes, there's a significant difference or not significant difference means. Now, this is a process what we've done in, in the research, especially for the social sciences. Not only social sciences, even others, but now there's a multi, you know, the because it's a, it's a collaboration with the other subject also. Multi-dimensional, you know, kind of uh, thoughts is going on after this NAP. Now, see, we are rejecting or accepting about your non hypothesis. How you want to accepting or rejecting? That means calculation from the sample data. Now, please. <coughs> yeah. So now, uh, yes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you know that one. So please, uh, let us see. Now the example also we have, uh, you know, we have developed, you know, this one. So you can say that how do we develop about, you know, the hypothesis? Here, hypothesis means you can say there is no significant relationship, you know, between chocolate bar. Okay. Okay, uh, before maintenance and after maintenance. Okay, there is no significance. There is a, on an average, five kg is remain as it is. That meaning is no significant relationship. There's no significant difference between before and after. Candy machine, max chocolate bar in gram, no different. That means same. So now in your alternative hypothesis means there is a difference. There is a significant difference between before and after maintenance of candy machines. So that is a, your alternative hypothesis, please. Now, okay, please. Now, yes, I have already, you know, the mention, what I mentioned. See the children, uh, children watching TV, that example only. We may have reason to believe that children watch more than three hours, more than or less than three hours TV per day. Okay, so now this is a very, very, you know, the important area now. There are two possible errors in hypothesis, the types of errors. There are, you know, there are two possible errors in hypothesis. In hypothesis testing, the problems, in hypothesis testing, not the problem, there are possibility regarding a non-hypothesis. High is not is a truth. High is not is a truth means what is high is not is truth. That means there is no relationship between. Another one is a high is not is a fall. High is not is a truth but rejected. High is not is a truth but rejected. This is what we call the type one errors. Type one error means what is a type one error? Truth but reject. What is a truth? Truth means there is no significance between these two variables. It's a truth but rejected. Rejected means there is a relationship between that variables, those variables. So this is represent as a, this is represent as a alpha. Please, please remember my dear friend. When the highest note is a truth, we can make two decisions. Accept the height note, there is a correct conclusion and reject means incorrect conclusion. Now, in a hypothesis testing, type one errors, 
occur when we reject the non hypothesis there is a type one error occur when the jury convicts the innocent person jury convict the innocent person jury convict innocent person so this is what we call as a type one error now my dear friend now accepting or rejecting about the non hypothesis your statement is based on alpha is a level of significance is a level of significance we call no idhar tum wale is a level of you know the significance we call now the level of significance is you know the uh, you know it's alpha alpha means type one error what is the type one error is a truth but rejected what is a truth non hypothesis truth means what is a non hypothesis that no relations no significance but that was rejected now what is the conclusion that means there is a significance there is a difference so there is a type one so type one error is represented as alpha when we are accepting or uh, you know rejecting about our uh, our hypothesis based on alpha and p probability values the p values are calculated from the sample size if your p values is less than alpha is less than alpha is less than alpha that means rejecting the non hypothesis if your p value is greater than alpha that mean you are accepting about the you are unable to reject the non hypothesis that mean you are accepting the non hypothesis my dear friend this is the most you know the important the clux means importance very crucial and difficult to understand also sometime it require to understand when we are doing our research research especially in the social sciences especially my subject in commerce economics and some others like now they like social work and anthropology and all kind of you know subject in management you know the research you know it's a, the, the hypothesis is very very much important now now type 2 you know type 2 errors that is wrong high snot is a fall but we are accepting so this is we call as a type 2 errors type 2 represent as a you know the beta type 2 represent as a beta now please this is the uh, this is what you know very uh, you know from this you know grant you know we can see that you know rejecting or accepting about you know the uh, you know the hypothesis uh, professor manoj my class is up to Uh, sir, it is uh, up to 4:30, but uh, 4:4:15 you can finish, no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can continue, but let us stop in up uh for for uh, for 15 or 20. Then after that, you know, some 20 uh, 10 minutes for discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that will be more. Yeah. And if I explain more and more, then somebody may understood and sometime you know it may create a lot of problem also <laughs> uh, uh, sir uh, your uh, laptop you are in laptop no yes yes so just uh, fold your flip your face is not coming full that camera okay. just you fold then it will visible upar ka jo hai sir na uska camera so apne tarf jhukaiye usko okay 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 thoda 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 wo kya karna hai kya उसको ऊंचा करना है थोड़ा आपका फेस ओके ओके पीपीटी नहीं सर पीपीटी इज ओके योर फेस यो जो कैमरा है ना उसको थोड़ा सा फोल्ड करना है लैपटॉप का ओके ओके या नाउ ओके या ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो नाउ यस आई हैव ऑल वी वी आर 
um, we are already entering into very you know the important uh, uh, you know the the points. So I have already shared with you. Uh, there are you know the five steps are there, and uh, you know we have to understand about you know non hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis, right? So then after that uh, you know the uh, the set of criteria for decision. And the decision, we have to take a decision and this is how to take a decision and rejecting or accepting. And the level of significance that uh, that arena is already entered. That means the level of significance means, you know, for the social sciences, uh, you know, the level of significance is typically set at 5%. You know, the 5%. And this is the when the probabilities of obtaining sample mean is less than 5%. Is less than 5%. That means we are rejecting about our non hypothesis. That means we are accepting about the, uh, you know, uh, we are rejecting about non hypothesis. What is a non hypothesis? Non hypothesis means no difference. So that means uh, rejecting means there is a difference. So, you know, that there is a difference. So we are, so uh, now the, the level of significance is especially for the social sciences 5%. And uh, you know some you know uh, physical sciences mean one percent right, and uh, you know it depend on the you know research. But always we have to remember, uh, you know the the most of the you know scholars uh, used to uh, you know take the five percent actually. Uh, this is the one. Then after that you know compute the you know the text statistics. Text statistics is the very very important. I told you. And uh, your objective, uh, you know, is your objective, and uh, what kind of, you know, the uh, objective you have, right? And uh, these objectives are, you know, the based on the, uh, you know, the parameters or non-parameters. We have to understand it, and accordingly, we have to, you know, apply it about, you know, statistics, you know, the test. I told you, parametric or non-parametric is the different, you know, tools are there. So the chi-square we can, you know, normally, you know, uh, we use in the, uh, you know, the um, non-parameters and the nightmare test, uh, we call cell test, okay, and the uh, rank test, this and that. So uh, the selection of appropriate, you know, statistical tool is also, it's a very, very important and uh, it's a very wonderfully, we can, you know, we make it, you know, the miracle also in our research actually. So the selection is a, is a very, very much important. It's the art of the researchers. That is what I told you. And how to select means you have to understand about, you know, whether your data are, you know, the, but now the, the ones, uh, you know, uh, this is actually, uh, you know, somebody, you know, uh, you know, think that, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the questionnaire is some, some sort of, you know, the, uh, it's a, you know, is a ratio actually? It's an ornamental. Can no, no. Exactly, this is not an ornamental thing. It's not a ratio actually. Uh, I feel in my experience actually, once we have completed about you know questionnaire means ninety percent of our research is over. The questionnaire is very very much you know the important. Once you know once we have uh, you have completed about your questionnaire drafting, that means uh, you know the hundred percent of you know uh, ninety percent of your research is over. So that's why. Uh, this is very, very important for drafting of research because all the, how many questions now, my dear friend, uh, you know, my dear friend, now here, the, you know, the, the, your, your question number, your question number one, uh, the, you know, your question number one, your question number two, like your objective one, the, where is the, where is the questionnaires? Where is the question in your questionnaires? And the object number two, the, where is the questionnaires? That that have to be identified. You, know, you have to understand about you know the question number five, your 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 objective five, and how many questions, how many questions are how many questionnaires are required to fulfill to achieve your objective. So suppose the your objective number three, and how many questionnaires are you know uh, important? How many questionnaires are important? And out of that, you know, that questionnaire, and how many are parameters and how many are Non parameters. So we have to understand. If you do not understand, means I think who will understand it? But you are the, you know, the man doing, you know, all kind of, you know, the research. So now here, so uh, PS statistics is very much important. And the third step is the meal adding a helamu. 
Ngai kita ngai hawi. Hmm. Ai class aru ne adu soi tau hera. Sir one minute. So one minute, sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now, please, uh, this is what, and uh, yes, I told you already. Then there is a you know the two tail or you know the right tail. That's not so important actually. Um, this is the one, the summary of wall tail and two tails. Uh, that means now that my TV example that in the watching it's a more than or less than, right? So I think we have to decide uh, you know the decisions. You know we making a decisions, and uh, in a one tail test in the left test this decision will be taken in the you know in the left side and the, you know the right tail like that i think this is a very much uh, this is what actually i have uh, uh, now interpretation of p you know the p value this is what i have already shared with you and the p value answer the because in the in accepting or rejecting about you know our, our hypothesis p is on the alpha and the p right alpha and the p so how to calculate the p and the p are calculated from the sample side uh, from the uh, sample statistics and uh, you know the sample statistics and then we applied about you know the p means like you know the chi square uh, you know the t test z test okay and even the you know the correlation test regression test okay and the structural equation you know modeling this and that and anova and there are many actually so now rejecting uh, now i think how to uh, this is very much p will answer the question i think what is the probabilities of the observed uh, uh, test statistics when the high snot is the truth so in that case means i have already shared if the p values is a, you know the probability values okay if the p value is less than uh, alpha then mean we are we are rejecting the our non hypothesis and if the p value is greater than the alpha then we are uh, uh, you know we are we are you know retail the our non hypothesis so actually uh, this is the one uh, this is what actually um, small p value means strong evidence okay uh, now interpretation now conclusion now here uh, p value is greater than this means non significant evidence against the high snot and the between this means marginally significant evidence and uh, evidence uh, significant evidence against the uh, you know uh, non hypothesis and the highly significant highly significant evidence against the high snot so so this is the uh, this is the one the smaller the p value the more statistically evidence exists to support the alternative hypothesis if the p value is less than 1% there is a overwhelming evidence that support the alternative hypothesis if the p value is between uh, you know strong evidence and uh, p value is between the 5% to 10% that means the weak evidence and support the alternative hypothesis so uh, this is the one so we have seen here also and uh, conclusions okay if we reject a non hypothesis okay so we we fail to reject a non hypothesis we we reject a non hypothesis means if if the p value is less than alpha then we reject the non hypothesis and uh, if the p value is greater than alpha that means uh, we fail to reject a non hypothesis it does not mean that we have the proof so now uh, this is the one keep in mind that committing type 1 error 
or a Taiwan it can be very bad depending on the, the problems. So thank you all. Sir. Sure. Yeah. So uh dear participants, uh, you if you have any uh, queries, whatever the queries and questions now you put up in the message box so that we can take up it and bind up the session. So please hurry up, whatever the question, doubt, no, very interesting topic. Many statistical tools tell about hypothesis and all. So if you have any questions, any, any clarification, please put the questions in the message box. Even they can, they can also also. So, yeah, we are waiting your response. Eglis? Eglis, some questions should be. <laughs> ah, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, they are not asking me, sir. Uh, we can think that they are understood or they are not understood. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, we have to take positive way only. Okay, so positive way is that they understand already. They putting the message, thank you, thank you, means they understand, sir. So no, no, okay, sir, no problem. We can now bind up the things. So uh, thank you so much, Professor uh, K H Thamba Singh, sir, for your valuable time in sharing your experience with us. Us, and I am very happy you spent some month in the Mizoram University. So Ajay, you are the part of the Mizoram University. Yes, yes, yes. I was there. I, 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 okay. So uh, we are very happy after a long time you have interacted, you meet the your old friends and uh, department and the Mizoram University about Mizoram University. Your memories maybe uh, recall the things, uh, your time which you spent here. So with this, thank you so much, sir, for your valuable time and sharing your rich experience with our participant. Uh, so very soon, my office staff, HRDC, they will contact you for the official five days. As you are very senior, you know the account number and all nowadays, everything is online. <laughs> so uh, they will collect the information. So this is the office part uh, they are doing because yes, we have yes, well settled uh, HRDC center. So they will contact you. So thank yes, you sir, so we much, have sir. already we have already paid for this purpose only yeah. we are the government of india employees and uh, we are not much concerned about the remuneration and uh, we must very much concerned about you know the input what i put whether my friends are understood or not uh, that is my worry actually because the time is uh, also uh, yeah yeah sir but that is also part of the facility because government is giving that money if university <laughs> money then i may request because Government uh, UGC is giving that money, and if we don't utilize, next time they will uh, cut our money. You will, uh, as a registrar, you know. Nowadays, if money is not utilized, next time government of India is cutting money like uh, anything. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to okay. all. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. My, yeah, this is my great pleasure to yeah, yeah, yeah. interact with uh, Academia. This is actually I love to share, and that's why I was. Uh, Little bit busy, but even though I told them my, you know, stuff and don't disturb me at least one and a half hours. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. Thank now you, so you may leave. You may leave, sir. Now, no problem. Okay, thank you. So, uh, dear participant, in this way, today we completed our 